Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So summer is basically over and for some of us, including myself, it's back to school. Well, technically it's not back to school. I'm going to school. I'll be starting my graduate program as of Friday and um, I'm really excited but I'm also really nervous. Um, I've been working on this for a long time and I just wanted to come and just give three tips that I have for any student, maybe starting college or going back to school, tips that I wish I had considered or tips that I could use for myself. The program that I'm doing specifically is a master's in occupational therapy, but I feel like even if you're not doing that program um, or any kind of graduate program, I think that first thing to consider when applying for any graduate program is to consider the prereqs that that program requires. Um, prereqs, if you don't know, are basically courses that you have to take in order to qualify for that program to even apply. My specific program required a lot of prereqs. It took me almost a year and a half to complete the amount of prereqs, but I was able to finish it in um, about a, a year and a half, including the summer. Definitely consider cost of your school. Um, here in New York, we have SUNYs and CUNYs. Um, my specific program, only one SUNY school offers um, the Masters of Occupational Therapy and I actually didn't even apply to that school because it's a full-time day program and I really needed something that was um, available. I needed something that was available in the evenings or on the weekends so that I could work. So I'm not going to say the program that I am specifically attending, however, it was one of the least expensive schools in the greater New York area. So I would definitely say fill out your FAFSA as soon as possible. When you're in graduate school, you're, pro you're not going to get like um, grants and I think, you know, I know in New York they have TAP. I don't know if that's nationwide, but um, you're not going to get like as many as much free money I, as I call it and know when I was an undergrad um, I got I had a scholarship and I also got um, tap and I got something else but I don't remember what it's called and um, even when I was doing my prereqs I got part-time student aid and that was actually under tap but if you didn't qualify for tap you could qualify for part-time student aid and I also got tuition reimbursement from my employer so that really helped you know cut down the cost for my prereqs because it was so expensive and paying out of pocket was no joke so now people know why I'm so frugal apply for as many scholarships as possible I've applied for as many as um, I could qualify for and there were some that I missed out on because I missed the deadline so on and so forth so I would say don't be like me don't miss the deadline keep track of everything and um, you know get that free money because nobody wants to be in debt for the rest of their life so with that being said my third tip is consider you know relocating or traveling if it's really something you want to do I was willing to go to Jersey, even though from New York is not that far, but I was actually willing to go as far as Pennsylvania, and that school was about a two and a half hour drive, but it was a weekend program, and it was um, also a part-time program. So I would say if you are like young or you're, you know, don't have that many responsibilities or maybe you're just, you know, a risk taker and you're willing to to go to those down south schools or out west schools, I would say to definitely do it because I've seen some schools in like Alabama and North Carolina that were so reasonable priced. Like I was like, I wish I could, you know, go down there and do it, but whatever. That's not what happened, and I'm very happy with my choice. 
my semester finishes um, December 21st. I hope to come back and say that I got all A's and I had a wonderful, wonderful experience. I hope to be able to manage my stress. I hope to um, have really good grades. I hope to be able to pay for everything. And I hope to come back really reassured that this is something that I wanna do. Um, I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is something that I wanna do. So I wanna come back in December 110% sure this is what I wanna do. So for everyone that's you know starting school, going back to school, or you're already in school, um, I wish you the best. God bless and good luck. Thank you for watching.